High school exchange students talk about efforts to democratize Muslim nations. Afghanistan's ambassador to the U.S. speaks at this forum hosted by the Close-Up Foundation. On the goal of democracy in the Middle East and how far along uh, the path to democracy we are in accomplishing that goal, or even if that's where it's headed, this is the question. Mr. Ambassador, we'll start with you. This is a very good question, and I, I, would, I would love to actually see the students because we have a similar situation in Afghanistan. <coughs> Um, the, the process of building a democratic system in Afghanistan in the past four years has been very successfully completed. And if democracy means to have security, an opportunity to speak freely, and have an opportunity to, to, to use your potential fully, this is what every human being demand and deserve. So that's why the prospect of democracy in the Islamic societies and Islamic countries is, is, is great, provided that some of the impediment, which most of them are political and due to the political regime imposed on these societies, are removed. Afghanistan is a prime example a, a, a conservative Muslim society with relatively small middle class when they have given a chance. 86% of the eligible voters participated in the elections. A significant number of the women are running for offices. 27% of the members of the parliament are women. Women are returning back to the jobs, teaching, and then uh, working for the government. A significant number of students going back to school are girls. So if human beings are given a, an opportunity anywhere in the world, they will take it and they will make the best out of it. The prospect, I hope that will be the same, and I'm sure that will be similar for Iraq when the security situation is further improved.